Numbers chapter 1. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, every male, one by one, from twenty years old and upward, all who are able to go out to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall count them by their divisions. With you there shall be a man of every tribe, each one head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you. Of Reuben, Elitzer the son of Shadur. Of Simeon, Shalumiel the son of Zerishadai. Of Judah, Nishon the son of Aminadab. Of Issachar, Nethanel the son of Zur. Of Zebulun, Eliab the son of Halon. Of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishama the son of Amahud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel the son of Padazer. Of Benjamin, Abaddon the son of Gideon. Of Dan, Ahazer the son of Amishadai. Of Asher, Pagiel the son of Akron. Of Gad, Eliasaph the son of Duel. Of Naphtali, Ahara the son of Enon. These are those who were called of the congregation, the princes of the tribes of their fathers, they were the heads of the thousands of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men who are mentioned by name. They assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their ancestry by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, one by one. As Yahweh commanded Moses, so he counted them in the wilderness of Sinai. The children of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were forty-six thousand five hundred. Of the children of Simeon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, those who were counted of it, according to the number of the names, one by one, every male from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty-nine thousand three hundred. Of the children of Gad, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Gad, were forty-five thousand six hundred fifty. Of the children of Judah, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Judah, were seventy-four thousand six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. Of the children of Zebulun, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Zebulun, were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, of the children of Ephraim, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty-two thousand two hundred. Of the children of Benjamin, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty-five thousand four hundred. Of the children of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Dan, were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, 
all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Asher, were forty-one thousand five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war, those who were counted of them, of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty-three thousand four hundred. These are those who were counted, whom Moses and Aaron counted, and the twelve men who were princes of Israel, each one for his father's house. So all those who were counted of the children of Israel by their father's houses, from twenty years old and upward, all who were able to go out to war in Israel, all those who were counted were six hundred three thousand five hundred fifty. But the Levites after the tribe of their fathers were not counted among them. For Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Only the tribe of Levi you shall not count, neither shall you take a census of them among the children of Israel, but appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all its furnishings, and over all that belongs to it. They shall carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings, and they shall take care of it, and shall encamp around it. When the tabernacle is to move, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, according to their divisions. But the Levites shall encamp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel. The Levites shall be responsible for the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they did. Numbers chapter 2 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, The children of Israel shall encamp every man by his own standard, with the banners of their fathers' houses. They shall encamp around the tent of meeting at a distance from it. Those who encamp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the standard of the camp of Judah, according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Judah shall be Nishon the son of Amminadab. His division, and those who were counted of them, were seventy-four thousand six hundred. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. The prince of the children of Issachar shall be Nethanel the son of Zur. His division, and those who were counted of it, were fifty-four thousand four hundred. The tribe of Zebulun, the prince of the children of Zebulun shall be Eliab the son of Halon. His division, and those who were counted of it, were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. All who were counted of the camp of Judah were 186,400, according to their divisions. They shall set out first. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Reuben shall be Elitzer the son of Shadur. His division, and those who were counted of it, were 46,500. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The prince of the children of Simeon shall be Shalumiel the son of Zerishadai. His division, and those who were counted of them, were 59,300. The tribe of Gad, the prince of the children of Gad shall be Eliasaph the son of Ruel. His division, and those who were counted of them, were 45,650. All who were counted of the camp of Reuben were 151,450, according to their armies. They shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out, with the camp of the Levites in the middle of the camps. As they encamp, so shall they set out, every man in his place, by their standards. On the west side shall be the standard of the camp of Ephraim according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Ephraim shall be Elishama the son of Amahud. His division, and those who were counted of them, were forty thousand five hundred. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. The prince of the children of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel the son of Padazar. His division, and those who were counted of them, were 32,200. The tribe of Benjamin, the prince of the children of Benjamin shall be Avadon the son of Gideon. His army, and those who were counted of them, were 35,400. All who were counted of the camp of Ephraim were 108,100, according to their divisions. They shall set out third. On the north side shall be the standard of the camp of Dan according to their divisions. The prince of the children of Dan shall be Ahizer the son of Amishadai. His division, and those who were counted of them, were 62,700. Those who encamp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher. 
the prince of the children of Asher shall be Pagil the son of Akron. His division, and those who were counted of them, were forty-one thousand five hundred. The tribe of Naphtali, the prince of the children of Naphtali shall be Ahara the son of Enon. His division, and those who were counted of them, were fifty-three thousand four hundred. All who were counted of the camp of Dan were one hundred fifty-seven thousand six hundred. They shall set out last by their standards. These are those who were counted of the children of Israel by their fathers' houses. All who were counted of the camps according to their armies were 603,550. But the Levites were not counted among the children of Israel, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did. According to all that Yahweh commanded Moses, so they encamped by their standards, and so they set out, everyone by their families, according to their fathers' houses.